I am Dr. Pushkar Shyam Chaudhuri, Senior Consultant Neurologist at Fortis Hospital, Anandpur. Let us discuss today about the stone diseases. Stone diseases are extensively being present in our daily scenario. We find that the incidence is increasing. Even in children, we are seeing more and more stone diseases. What is the reason for this increase in incidence? Improve diagnostic tests like we have more access to ultrasounds now, so small stones are being picked up. Our dietary changes, we are taking more of non veg and salt intake, fast foods. These have increased in the incidence of stone diseases. Then decrease in the fluid intake, this has also contributed to increase in stones. So how to prevent stones? To prevent stones, you should drink at least 2-3 to three liters of fluid per day. You should have a healthy diet. You should have more of fibers and citrus fruits and decrease animal protein intake and salt intake. Now, which stones can be treated medically and which needs a surgery? Small stones which are less than 5 mm can be treated medically. If it's a kidney stone, we give syrups of potassium citrate which dissolves the stone and it might bring out the stone. If the stone has fallen into the ureter, then also there are medicines which can loosen the tract and help in taking out the stones. But if the stone becomes bigger in size, like a 1 cm stone or more than 1 cm stone, they are unlikely to come out with medicines. In that case, don't neglect those stones. Because if you keep the stones, the stones will keep on growing and it will obstruct the urinary system and it might damage the kidney. So if you are having pain in the back or blood in the urine or suddenly your urine stops, this might be the symptoms of a stone disease. Immediately contact your experienced urologist. They will do simple tests like ultrasound or CT scan and will diagnose whether a stone is there or not and whether it needs to be treated medically or it needs a surgical intervention. Surgical intervention has improved dramatically. We have the best uh, surgical instruments in the country and we are not far behind from the advanced developed world as well. There are different modalities like lithotripsy where you use sound waves to break the stones from outside without any intervention. Then there is URS where with the help of laser we enter into the urinary tract and break the stones in very small fragments. Then there is PCNL where you make a small hole in the back and go into the kidney, break the stones and bring out to this. And last but not the least is RIRS, retrograde intranal surgery. It's a scarless surgery where you can enter into the kidney through the urinary passage with the help of an endoscope and then break the stones under vision with laser and make the patient totally stone free. Thank you.